What's up everybody? It's Shaq Hey 101. I just kind of want to show you um all the books that I have. Um some of them you've seen already like with me doing updates and stuff earlier when I was making videos. But I just wanted to go ahead and do like a tour of my books, not the bookshelf. I like taking them down and showing the covers and stuff. So here we go. Now, I'm going to start with horror books that I have. It's not a big collection of horror books, but the things that I've got, I'm very proud to have, and I, you know, like them a lot. And, uh, so I'm going to start with these Brian King books I have. Here it's a lot of zombie and horror. Like, I think this, I don't know, I don't think this one is the zombies, but I'm going to read it anyways, because i got to get out of just reading zombies, so. <laughs> but it's called Castaways, Brian King. And then I've got uh, City of the Dead by Brian King. I, uh, I've not read this one yet, but I'm excited. Like, there's so many books, but so little time. And then Dead Sea, I read this one. This one was really good, so I can't wait to read his other books. He's a really good writer. And, like, you can't hate on a dude that's wearing, like, in his writing photo, like, he's wearing an anthrax hoodie. That's pretty kick-ass. Okay. And then I've got... Psycho by Robert Block. You know, I've watched this movie and I love this movie so much, but I've not read this book yet. So, I need to jump on it. Like, I need to get on it. And then I've got that Nightwing, which looks, you know, I could be pretty good. I don't know. We'll try it out. And then, it's beginning to look a lot like zombies. It's just uh, Christmas carols they've taken and, like, made into zombie things, like, see. I'm dreaming of an undead Christmas. And like, uh. Let's feast on merry gentlemen. Just silly stuff. I love it though. <laughs> okay. And then this one looked like it. it was a good cover. And I'm thinking like it'd be pretty good. I don't know. We'll see. The Devil's Toenail. I don't know about that title. I mean, we'll just. See. Hopefully that's the name of a place. I'm thinking it is. And then you seen this a couple weeks ago, the Monster Book of Zombies. I love, I love zombie short stories, like, you know, anthologies and stuff, so. I like reading those, yeah. And then The Harvest by Scott Nicholson. That book looks pretty good, I like the name of it and all. So. And then you've got The Zombie Survival Guide. Everybody needs this in their collection. I'm just saying, by Max Brooks. And then I've got World War Z by Max Brooks. My cover's a little faded and uh, kind of beat up, but because I read the crap out of it. And then we've got I Am Legend by Richard Madison. I don't, like I said before, like I talked about it before, I don't really care much for the movie cover, but you know, that was a good movie too. Still doesn't beat Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price though. Just saying. Then I've got Bram Stoker's Dracula. Everyone should read this. And then I've got Amityville Horror by J. Anson. 101 horror movies you must see before you die. Like, you know, you need to, yeah, you gotta watch them before you die. You have to. You must. And then I've got these books. This guy right here, David Wellington, I remember reading his, uh, this book right here online. He hadn't been picked up yet. So now I've got his books. This is Monster Island. And then you've got Monster Planet. And then Monster Nation. I like that cover there with the baby doll head. And I don't know what the hell that is over there. Doesn't matter. And then I've got The Forest of Hands and Teeth. I still need to get the rest of these. And The Enemy by Charlie Hicks. And this is a heavy little book. Like a pretty, like a heavy book. Look at that, what I used for a bookmark. Silly. And then I've got, this is an anthology of zombie uh, shorts. Uh, Living Dead. It's got stories by, you know, like Clive Barker, Laurel K. Hamilton, who I don't really particularly care for. Um, Stephen King, George R. R. Martin, and his story in that. I made sure to read that because I love his uh, Song of Ice and Fire series. Uh, his story in there was really, really good. And then I've got Day by Day Armageddon by J.L. Bourne. This book looks really good. I need to get the rest of them as well. 
And then another anthology of zombie short stories, uh, Flesh, Flesh Feast, Volume 3. I need to find the rest of those. I think I read a few stories in there. They were really good. And then I've got that uh, Fever Dream by George R. R. Martin about vampires. And then Dying to Live by Kim Paffenroth. Uh, he's got two more that I didn't know about. And uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get those and read them because this book right here is freaking awesome. <clears throat> and then I've got a Tokyo Zombie. If you've not, this is a movie. This is how I figured, how I found out about this. This movie, I have it too. It is so funny. It's such a, you know, weird take on zombies and their story. These two guys on the cover here. I can't remember their names. But, uh, and then so I had to get the manga. I was like, uh, yeah. I saw it and had to get it. And then I've got, oh, y'all love this. Then I've got <laughs> Bubba Hotel. I found this at the, the store called McKay's. And I was like, holy shit, I must have that. It's Bubba Hotep. Two dollars? Uh, yeah, that's a gem right there. So yeah, Bubba Hotep. And then The Devouring by Douglas D. Hawk. It seemed like, you know, it'd be pretty good. We'll read it sometime. <clears throat> then I've got Everything You Ever Wanted to Know About Zombies by Matt Moak. I think he's actually like the head of like the Zombie Research Society or something like that. And, uh, He's pretty, this book is really awesome. Like, he's got, like, pop culture things in here, too, which is really cool. And then I've got, let's see. Somebody got me this for Christmas. Um, I'm pretty much thinking that this Peter Straub guy wrote it, but Stephen King put his name on it so he could say, this guy could sell it, you know. But it might be Black House. It might be pretty good. I'll read it. And as you notice, I don't have any um Stephen King books. I know it's a shame. But I am going to get started on him. It's took me 26 years, but I'm going to finally do it. And then I've got, I've seen this in the bookstore I worked in, um, Dawn of the Dead. Susanna Sparrow wrote it, you know, after the movie, so. But it's going to be, yeah, it's awesome. And then this right here is one of my favorite um, zombie books. Like, it's a whole new take. It's more of a, it's more of a coming-of-age story. The Reapers of the Angels by Alden Bell. Took me forever to find this book. But if you like zombies and stuff, and if you like coming of age, like read that book. And then I've got, my sister got me this last Christmas. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Still not read that. And then these. Well, let's see. Let me get that first. That's a little anthology of like little short stories or passions. Looks like it'd be cool. And then these right here are my favoriteest, yes, that's a word, are my favoriteest zombie books I've ever read. And they're by Joe McKinney. His first one's Dead City. And then he's got Apocalypse of the Dead. And then Flesh Eaters. And this one came out not too long ago, and it's called Mutated. Those books are really fantastic. Like, you need to read those for real. So... And then we'll get on to my poetry. This is my favorite poet ever. And it's Walt Whitman. It's Leaves of Grass. Love this man. And then I've got two Jim Morrison. Lost Writings of Jim Morrison Wilderness, Volume 1. And then I've got The American Night. This is Volume 2. And then I've got... Poems from India. Um, I try to, if I can find poetry books, I don't care what they are. Like, I'll get them. And these are two writers from, uh, kind of where I'm from. And this one's Kettlebottom. Who is this writing? Diane Gilliam Fisher. What cool, Gilliam Fisher. And this one's Appalachia by Frank X. Walker. There's some good poetry in there. Um, I'm not particularly, like, fond of, like, you know, I love where I'm from, but any writer from here, that's what they write about, this place, so it kind of irritates me. Um, then I've got the portable Shakespeare. I like that. It's got quite a few of his, um, 
piles of stuff in there, so. And then this is American Poetry to Whitman. And it's got a lot of different people in here. I just I just love poetry, so. And then some of my books don't have covers. And then I've got 101 Famous Poems. This book is pretty old. I can't remember where I saw it now. Oh, yeah. 1929. I was like, dang, I've got a little piece That's not that old, but you know. And then my mom gave me this. It's Poetry of Robert Frost, who is another one of my favorite poets. Um, it came to me like this. It looks a mess, but as long as the inside's good, I'm alright. And then I've got Poems of Feasts and Fast, Christina Rossetti. She's a good one, too. Yeah, I found this pretty cheap. Uh, a Night Without Armor. It's a uh, Poems by the singer Jewel. And then I love finding, uh, you know, little kids that write. I'm so happy that they can do it and stuff. So this is poetry by, you know, a bunch of little kids. Some of them are really good. Well, all of them are good, but, you know. And then I've got Love Poems by Women Anthology. Um, yeah. And then Passionate Hearts. Um... Yeah, that one's a good one, too. <laughs> and then uh, Alicia Keys, Tears for Water, Songbook of Poems and Lyrics. I love Alicia Keys. She is the, one of the most amazing musicians in the world right now. So, and then I've got this book, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. His Complete Poetical Works. And then I've got Love's Witness, Five Centuries of Love Poetry by Women. I love um, love poetry. And then I've got Ain't I a Woman, the book of women's poetry from around the world. It's got Maya Angelou, um, all these other chicks. Uh, I'm going to sit down on my bed now since I've got room. Okay, and now I don't have that many wrestling books. I used to have more. I used to have like some of the, some of the Mick Foley's books. I think my mom's got them. I don't know. She better give them back. But I've got that uh, Chris Jericho Undisputed. Such a good book. I loved it. I'm a Chris Jericho fan anyways. So there's that. Then I found this. I got this in that like uh, cheap little thing. Uh, they only knew China. I was like, you know what? What the hell? Because they told me to fill up a bag, and, uh, grocery bag, and they said it'll be a dollar no matter how many books you put in it. And I was like, okay. And then I've got The Hardy Boys, Exist to Inspire. Enjoyed that book. That, that used to be my fella right there. And then I've got Lita's book, uh, Less Traveled Road, The Reality of Amy Dumas. Always loved Lita. I'll let you look at the back of it too. Don't, don't want to tease you guys with just the cover there. There's the back. And then of course my encyclopedia. This thing's so awesome. I love it. So good. And the updated one. There's an updated one now that I need to get. So I'll get one of these years. We'll see. And then two more writers from uh, around where I live. is a uh, Darnell Arnold, Sufficient Grace. Haven't read this. But I plan on it sometime. One of these years. I always say that. I'm a procrastinator. It's bad. And then Silas House, A Parchment of Leaves. This is a national bestseller. I didn't even see that before. Well, that's awesome. And then we've got The Walk by Richard Paul Evans. Really good book. I'll have to review this book sometime. It surprised me. And I've got, uh, I think this is a kid's book. The Whispering Road. Um, I like that cover a lot. And then I've got, I've got this movie too, but I didn't really care for the movie. And I've not read the book because I didn't, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's a movie cover. Atonement. I'll read it sometime and watch the movie. It's probably pretty good. I think it won awards and stuff, so. That's a national bestseller as well. And then I've got, uh, who is that? Sandra Benitez. Night of the Radishes. It looks pretty good. Like, I like the cover and stuff. That's another one I need to read. I am reading at the moment. I'm reading those Percy Jackson books. I'm on the third one, so it's all good. I am the messenger. 
I think this is an advanced copy. Where I worked at that bookstore, they let us get like advanced copies sometimes. Yeah. Pat Conroy, my reading life. I want to hear about his reading life. 10,000 baby names. I like baby names books just because, uh, you know, I write. And sometimes I need a little inspiration for a character name. And uh, somebody's circled stuff. Beth. Who's Beth? But I need, you know, a little inspiration for to help me with names and stuff. So I use those quite a bit. Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger. Um, she wrote The Time Traveler's Wife. I've, you know, I've not read that one. But this one, I just love that name, Her Fearful Symmetry. I don't know what it is about that name, but I, yeah, I was like, ooh. So. Um, I love Greek mythology, so it's an encyclopedia of Greek mythology. I had this book when I was a kid, and my sister, like, wrote in it and stuff, so when I saw this, I was like, oh, must have it. Yeah, I love Greek mythology. This is some little Disney book I picked up because I'm super crazy in love with Drunken Steve, so I love little love quotes and things like that. Crazy about him, so I'm a dork. <laughs> it's all right, though. And then I want to go here someday, so I got this book, Portable Ireland. I will go to Ireland someday. You wait. Irish fairy tales. World mythology. Know it all. I still don't after reading this book, so that was a waste of money. And then I love detective stories, so this is like cases, you know, where you gotta figure out everything. I love stuff like that. This is advanced copy too, and corrected proof, not for sale. Juniper Berry, kids' book. Watcher's Last Stop, another kids' book. I enjoy kids' books. Um, <laughs> reference book, slang and euphemism. Uh, yeah. And these books, simply, I got these because I like the covers and the way they feel. They're so, like, so easy to turn the pages and flip them around. I've got three of these. Nightingale Floor, Across the Nightingale Floor, uh, Brilliance of the Moon. Or my other one? Oh, there it is. Grass for His Pillow. There's a bunch of them that I didn't get though, like they're little C's, so. How'd this get in here? That's my soldier's handbook. I kept this simply because like, if I do write like a zombie book someday, this could be a good reference with weaponry and um, things like that. And it's got my social security number in it. <laughs> oh, and then I've got like a, a quote book, Mother to Son. Yeah. A complete Mom's Little Instruction Book, Wit and Wisdom for Mothers. I need some help with that. <laughs> Don't we all? 365 acti outdoor activities you can do with your child. 1,001 ways to relax. This book has not helped me any, but... Disney Anna. Uh, just classic collectibles. I don't know why I got this, because I don't really have any Disney things, but... Maybe someday, you never know. 365 ways to live cheap, because all of us is broke as hell. Everybody should find that book. I think I found it at the dollar store. Well, the two dollar store. That was not funny. Um, I don't happen to cover, but I got this cheap. The Lovely Bones, Alice Seabold. The Headless Cupid, Zilpha Keatley Snyder. Um... How to Sound Smart. This book, this is another book that is yet to help me. <laughs> mom Always Said, A Collection of Wisdom, Stories, and Songs for Mom. We deserve it. Wisdom of the Heart, A Celebration of Timeless Lessons About Love. What Girls Learn. I'm ready for that book. I'm ready to read that. Thanks, after I read uh, Percy Jackson. The worst day of my life so far by M.A. Harper. Hank and Chloe by Joanne Mapson. Oh, God, I love this book. Speak by Lori Hoss Anderson. Oh, I'll review that book sometime. Love it. Um, African Names. 
Um, like I said, I like to uh, get some inspiration from character names from that. Reverse Dictionary. You know, I have so many reference books that I don't even use. Um, I think this is, yep, that's an advanced copy too. Uh, Origin by Jessica Curry. Cool. Horry. The H is not silent. This is another one that's advanced. It's called Unholy. By who? Neil Shusterman. Shush. Shusterman. That's a hard name to say. They should not have that last name. And then, oh yeah. I love X-Men. I like comic books. Um, uh, this is X-Men Legends. It's just uh, short stories about them. It's pretty cool. I can't remember where I got that. I like Rogan Gambit. A lot. They're awesome. Then I've got Up From The Blue by Susan Henderson. Eternal on the Water. Joseph, what's his name? Moninger. Moninger. Uh, Red Heart of Memories. Nina Kariki Hoffman. Oh, Bridget Jones's Diary. I can't wait to read this. Get in focus, camera. Uh, about Helen Fielding. I never did watch the movies. Um, the Year's Best Fantasy and Horror of 2007. Like I said, I love anthologies of like any kind, so. Um, the Witch King. Maeve Henry. I never knew how to say that word. Maeve? I don't know. The Castaways, um, Rob Valmar. It's a graphic novel, and I got this. I was like, man, this looks kind of awesome. So, yeah. And then I've got Major British Writers. It's got uh, some of their work and things like that. Um, God, I can't even see that. W. Somerset Maugham, Taylor of Tales, a definitive anthology of the short story. Let's see if I can pull this over here. Oh, oh Lord. The All of It by Jeanette, Jeanette Hain. This book looks really good. What is that? Get a Newberry medal. A uh, single shard by Linda Sue Park. Yeah. Blubber by Judy Bloom. Look how old this book is. I love it. Can't wait to read it. Then you know books like that I can pass on to my my son. So, uh, Lamentation, Ken Shoals. Um, Sweet Smoke by David Fuller. The Wanderer's Tale, David Billsboro. The Color of Water, a Black Man's Tribute to His White Mother, by James McBride. The Hidden Stars, by Madeline, Madeline Howard. Firebirds Rising, a Thana Anthology of Original Science Fiction and Fantasy. Awesome. Uh, Tempting Fate by Esther Friesner. My mom let me have this book. I don't know how good it is. Oh, it's a speed book. Okay. This might be pretty good. Alright. Flipped. And I didn't know this was a movie. I've never heard of it. It says, You Never, never Forget Your First Love by Wendelin Van Dryden. And then I've got, um, I got these books, uh, I think I was in middle school. And then when I found out there was going to be a show, I was like, what? Um, that's what, there's Elena on the cover there in The Crow, which is, uh, you know, Damon. <clears throat> By L.J. Smith, this is volume one. There's so many of these books now, I can't keep up with them. So, I've got that. And then there's The Struggle, that's the second. And then The Fury and Dark Reunion, and this is where mine stopped. That's the third and fourth. I will get the others later because I enjoy these books. 
And then, this is another advanced reader's copy. No Barley Water Runs Away. This is a good book. I read this. This is a kid's book, but it is really good. And then I've got, this is another advanced copy. Uh, I'd Know You Anywhere by Laura Lippman. And another one. You Know When the Men Are Gone by Siobhan. Siobhan? I think that's Siobhan is how you say that. Fallon. And then, uh, this is another writer from around here. Um, and her book made it into Oprah's Book Club. Icy Sparks by Gwen Hyman Rubio. Uh, let's see. I know she signed this. I just don't know where it was at. Oh, there it is. Gwen Hyman Rubio. God, that was a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> and then I actually won this from Goodreads. Um, those giveaways they do on Goodreads. If you don't know about that, go to Goodreads.com if you like to read and check out check out that site because they've got a lot of cool stuff. You can write books and review them and enter giveaways. They've got all kinds of stuff on there. But I actually won this in a giveaway, Sunburn by M.D. Keating. And it's a play. I've not read it yet. But I'm sure it's awesome. And then this is the only John Grisham book I have because I saw it out there for those uh, grocery bag books. John Grisham, the client. I've seen the movie, not read the book, so now I can get started on him too. And then I found this book. Um, as bad as this, like volume three of the series. So if I can ever find the other ones, I might get them. Jackie Chalker. Such cool names. Yeah, I've got Lord of the Flies. I don't know how this book is, but it looks pretty old too. Let's see. Oh, 1954. That's not that. Yeah. I love this book. Love this movie. Love everything about it. Lord of the Flies by Willow William Golding. I like that cover too. He's all freaking out. Aesop's Fables. Bud, not Buddy. Yes, that was 69 cents, and I was like, heck yeah, by Christopher Paul Curtis. The Jungle Books, Rudyard Kipling. My favorite Jane Austen book, Mansfield Park. Oh, and the movie. And then I've got Idols of the King, Alfred Lord Tennyson. The Outsiders by S.C. Hinton. Movie cover, but it's okay. Uh, Siddhartha by Herman Hess. Read this when I was a sophomore in high school and I absolutely like, you know, at the time I didn't really understand how good of a book it was, but as I got older I thought about it and I was like, you know what? Yeah. So this is a really good book too, Siddhartha. Get it. I'm not going to review any of these until I review them, you know what I mean? Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. The Best Christmas Pageant Ever by Barbara Robertson. Robinson. These books, she's got more than this, but this one right here is the one that really stood out to me. Um, it was really, it's funny. It's a kid's book and it's really funny though. I loved it. I had to pick it up. I was like, what? I remember that book. And then uh, Dancing on the Edge by Han Nolan. National Book Award winner. And then The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane. Willow. Um, Blood and Wine. I never seen this movie or anything and not read this book, but it's got some cool people in it. Stephen Dorff. No, he's not cool. What am I talking about? Jack Nicholson's cool though. Jennifer Lopez is alright. But it's by Robert Tyne. I'll read it sometime. It looks like it might be interesting. I don't know. The Nanny Diaries by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Crafts. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I think I've got like two copies of this just because I like to click classics too. So. The Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. 
Ethan Frome by Edith Wharton. Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. Jane Erie by Charlotte Bronte. The Stepford Wives. The Era Eleven. Oh, she wrote Rosemary's Baby. That's pretty cool. Hello, Nicole Kidman. Look how pretty blue her eyes are on this cover. Awesome. And then I've got uh, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. Not that I'm going to war or anything, but you know. Novelist Boot Camp. <laughs> Looks like my child wrote on this. That's real nice. Oh, Todd A. Stone wrote it. And then I've got the Miss Spellers Dictionary. And then uh, Amazing Guitar Facts and Trivia. There's some cool shit in here. Um, I like the way it's laid out. That's my child singing, if you hear that. Games for Reading, Playful Ways to Help Your Child Read by Peggy K. I like stuff like this. Uh, anything that I can, you know, that'll give me a new perspective on helping my child. The Golden Guide to Insects. I don't know why I got this. But I might want to pick it up and read it one day. Oh, man, what kind of grasshopper is that? Oh, it's a lubber grasshopper. The hell's a lubber grasshopper? Yeah. Exotic plants. I figure if I ever have to take it to the woods, you know, I won't eat into something that's poisonous for me. And this is a psychology book. What you can change and what you can't. This is just, I liked it because of the quizzes and I was like, I like quizzes a lot, so let's do that. This is an advanced copy, I believe. The Philosopher's Kiss by Peter Prange. Prang, how you say that name? Uh, the Dragon Chronicles, Flight of the Dragon Ken, Susan Fletcher. Those covers are really pretty. Can Kara truly speak to dragons? I hope she can. There's another advanced copy. Envy by Greg G. Olson. And then, and then I've got, oh god, they're falling. Stop that. Oh my goodness. I've, I read my first Amelia book, uh, notebook in the uh, fifth grade. And I, I love these books and I'm going to try to collect them all. Millie's Guide to Gossip by Marissa Moss. I love these. Look how awesome these are. You can compare these to, like, these would be the uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid thing of, of, like, my young years. They're so cool, and it's, like, written like a, you know, just her notebook, like her little journal. She draws pictures and stuff. So neat. Amelia hits the road. These are mine. These aren't my child. These are actually these are my books that I do not intend to pass on to him. I'm gonna keep forever. They're gonna be buried with me. And then I've got The Cimmerillion by J.R.R. Tolkien. And then The Hobbit by Tolkien. Oh, movie cover books. I know I hate them, but it's okay. Uh, Fellowship of the Ring. There's little Frodo. And then I've got the two towers. There's a uh, Legolas. I rewatched the two towers last night, and that Battle of Helm's Deep is so kick-ass. I've actually got a five-figure pack from that Battle of Helm's Deep. I'll show you guys some other time. It's pretty cool. And then the Return of the King, of course, with Aragorn. These, yeah, we'll review these books sometimes. I'm not going to go into detail now about them. So let's mosey on over here to my bookshelf, which I should have done in the first place because there are books everywhere. Books every freaking where. So I've got, this is a coffee table book. Uh, Historica, Historica's Women, 1,000 Years of Women in History. This is a, this is a big old book. Oh, shit. You heard that, right? Uh, Mother Goose. This is like a pop-up book. I got this for my child, but I love pop-up books. <laughs> so, it's mine. See, and it's got little, 
You can pull out little things. It's so cool. Okay, on to the next one. The Dragon Chronicles, Sign of the Dove, Susan Fletcher. The American, Martin Booth. Shirley Temple Storybook. I love Shirley Temple, I always have. <laughs> Here's something. Here's something I don't know why I got. One, two, three scrapbooks. Everything you know need to know to make amazing pages. Yeah. Here's a Infermania Ghost by Christopher Mania Maynard. It's just a little kid's like thing. It's pretty neat though. I like looking at it from time to time anyways. Scholastic Book of Lists. I was a really good mom before I had kids. Trisha Ashworth and Amy Nobel. <laughs> I like that title. Um, Hello Midnight, Insomniac's Literary Bedside Companion. A compendium to distract, amuse, and entertain the dream deprived. By Deborah Bishop and David Levy. I like that book. Better Than Life. Uh oh, Daniel Pinnock. It's uh, talking about reading, how they get their child to read and stuff. Man. The Tough Guide to Fantasy Land by Diana Wynne Jones. Look at that. It is dark lore approved. You should all read it. Um, the Curious Boys Book of Adventure. 100 Hijinks and Escapades. And this just shows um, a lot of fire without matches. Stuff people should not fish in. Uh, bird watching. Like you can learn to teach you how to tie knots. Reading the night sky. Just different cool things like that. I like that for myself. And then I've got X-Men Marvel Encyclopedia. I used to have the whole, you know, full Marvel Encyclopedia. But, um, uh, it's gone. Look at Magneto looking all cool there. The Everything Toddler Book, yes. From tantrums to potty training. All that good fun stuff. Fun. And then I've got crafts from all around the world. I like other cultures and learning about things. I can, it's it's neat learning about how the cultures do. I'm like obsessed with the Day of the Dead. The mom book goes to school. Insider tips to ensure your child thrives in elementary and middle school. You know, I like advice on mom stuff, but I'm pretty much going to do it my way. And maybe, you know, like I said, try to look at it from another perspective. And then... The greatest movies ever. The ultimate ranked list of 101 best films of all time. You see it's got some awesome ones on there. Citizen Kane. Uh, I think that's... There's E.T. and Star Wars. I don't know. Is that Lawrence of Arabia? I don't know. Uh, the Graduate. Uh, One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest. Wizard of Oz. Not sure. Shawshank Redemption. Casablanca. Uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Don't know. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And <clears throat> everything God's writing a novel. I, I get these books and then I don't <laughs> I don't really read through them. I like these little books too. I wish I had all of them. It's like encyclopedias. Folk and fairy tales. Then there's the story of art and music. And then uh, there's heroes and heroines. And uh, here's another scent. Holidays and customs. And these are from all around like in the world. Stories and fables. And poems and rhymes. And that is all that I've got. This is um, going to be a good video here. I've got, I got, well no it's not all I've got. I lied. Alright. So I've got up there. You can see that. Uh, the uh, Song of Ice and Fire series. There's the Game of Thrones, Feast for Crows, Storm of Swords, Clash of Kings, and then the fifth one, I don't think it's come out in paperback yet, Dance with Dragons. And usually it takes about a year for them to come out in paperback from when the hardback was released, but it's taken a little longer. I think it's supposed to come out in July if you go by that. And the paperback's not come out yet, so. And then of course I've got the uh, Percy Jackson set here. 
Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the complete series. Reading on the third one now. So yes, they have books strung everywhere now. Lovely. I have to pick these up. But thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'm going to show you guys some more of my cool shit, like, in another video. And, uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.